Welcome to another episode of Dan 5 Minute Factoids, your key to diving safety education. In this episode, we discuss the physiology of decompression sickness, but we approach it in a slightly different way. Within the first 12 hours of the dive, one of the divers developed a swelling in the second uh, digit of their left hand. And they were uncertain whether this should be put down to decompression sickness or something else. And that raised the question, how do you know? How do you make a decision? They were going to fly out two days afterwards. How to decide whether or not this was a condition that needed recompression well, the standard approach is to have anything that is suspicious examined medically. And fortunately, there was a diving physician at hand, able to examine and form a differential diagnosis. Now, one of the unique things about the digits is that they are vulnerable to all kinds of things. You can just imagine, you can wedge your hands or toes in ledges or trap them under equipment or have any kind of injury as a result of these loose appendages being involved in some or another activity. It is also very unlikely for an isolated digit to develop decompression illness. Based on the conservatism of the dive, the uniqueness of the location, the absence of any other manifestations of decompression illness, and in this case, the very likely exposure to fire hydroids uh, with concurrent blistering, this case was put down to, to a sea or marine uh, animal envenomation. It was treated with hot water and cortisone and recompression was unnecessary. But it raised a very important question. A single isolated injury is unlikely to be related to decompression illness, particularly if it involves a single digit finger or toe. With that, thank you for watching another of Dan's 5-Minute Factoids, your key to diving safety education.